we all know it can be a long wait to see your GP. In fact, this year, one in nine people in England trying to get an appointment were turned away. There are times when I've actually had to go to a drop-in centre in Rotherham, you know, just to get done and toss into a, a little earlier. Well, I called for this appointment about two weeks ago. And now doctors predict it's only going to get worse. Next year, the total number of times patients in England will have to wait more than a week is predicted to go over the 50 million mark for the very first time. It'll be worst in the big cities. In Birmingham and London, it's predicted that more than one in seven patients calling surgeries will be turned away. A lack of investment is being blamed, leaving GPs overstretched and struggling to cope with a growing population with older, more frail patients. Just to have the service now that we would like to be offering, we need 8,000 more GPs now. If we don't do something soon, if we don't do something urgently to ar ar arrest this problem, it's going to get worse. This isn't scaremongering. We've been campaigning for some time now. <laughs> When a patient can't see their GP, they're more likely to turn up at A&E or some stay away altogether. So doctors miss the chance to spot the early warning signs of life-threatening conditions. The government insists millions more patients are now getting appointments on weekends and via email and says it's committed to cutting those long waiting times by increasing the number of trainee GPs. Rebecca Barry, Five News.